please. Uh, okay, hello, hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we hear, uh, we hear you. Uh, okay, and can you see my screen? Uh, yes, we see. Okay, thank you for the introduction. Uh, first, I would like to thank the, the organizers <coughs> for giving me the opportunity to uh, give this talk. I will present to you our main results from joint work with about Narczuk and uh, Krzysztof Rutkowski. Uh, especially, I will connect um, uh, the relaxed constant rank uh, condition with an ABAD condition for the uh, settings where our function, uh, where our goal function f is uh, described on a Banach space, and our visible set is described uh, by the finite number of uh, inequalities and finite number uh, of equalities. And so here you can see uh, the outline of the uh, presentation. In the first step, I will discuss uh, some existing results in literature. Then I will present our basic tools, uh, uh, which are important in our main theorem. After that, I will prove, uh, I will show you uh, the, the theorem about uh, non eptiness of the set of um, uh, Lagrange multipliers and a little bit uh, about an extra topic, which is also included in, in our paper uh, when we want to describe some uh, connections between, between different definitions of a functionally dependent set of, uh, of functions uh, defined on Banach space. Okay, so uh, let me start with preliminary facts. Uh, so some existing results uh, in literature. So I'm focusing uh, on this paper, the first paper, so uh, we want to minimize function f, where our visible uh, set uh, capital F uh, is described uh, as follows. And what I want to underline here is that uh, E and Y are uh, Banach spaces. So we have, we have infinite uh, dimensional settings here. Um, and uh, for, uh, for this uh, setting, let me define some, uh, some sets. So the first one is a tangent cone. Uh, here we are also assuming that uh, x0 is in closure of set C. Mm, and uh, another tangent uh, set, uh, it is called uh, weak tangent set. So here we have, uh, I'm interested especially in the uh, first one uh, and in the, uh, the linearized cone. And for the weak uh, tangent set, what is the difference? Here we have a weak convergent to uh, element uh, element D. Uh, so I'm focusing on tangent con to the set, uh, set especially set uh, capital F and the linearized con defined as follows. So in the first, uh, first paper, the authors are assuming something extra for, for defining Abadi condition. And uh, in our paper, we are saying that um, Abadi condition holds for our visible set uh, capital F if tangent con is equal to uh, the linearized one. Mm, and now uh, some other definitions. So here you can see the definition of, uh, of normal con. And uh, this circle means that um, we are uh, considering the polar set. Uh, so if we have a subset of a Banach space, uh, then this polar set is defined as follows. We are considering such functionals in the dual space such that x star of a is less or equal to, uh, than zero for all a in our set capital A. Uh, in the first paper, uh, authors are considering uh, some, uh, some kind of con point property, uh, which is connected with the set M of XR, uh, which, is, uh, which is here. And especially um, in this slide, we are interested in the set of M of X zero uh, at zero. And we have the following fact. Uh, so if minus F prime of X zero is an element of uh, the above set, then we are getting that X zero is KKT point. Um, here, let me also underline the fact that um, we have uh, a full characterization. So it is if and only if the a theorem um, and, and Using this fact, uh, we can prove that if we are assuming uh, our uh, previous ABAD condition, which means that linearized con is equal to uh, a tangent con, and we, uh, the authors are also assuming that uh, the M of X zero is weak, weak star closed, 
then we can get the following fact. So uh, if x0 is local minimizer of uh, our problem p0 in infinite dimensional settings, and we are assuming about the condition with this extra assumption about m of x0, zero, then x0 is a kkt point. So what we are getting here, so if x0 is a local minimizer, then we can write the following thing. So f, f prime of x0 times d is greater or, or equal than zero for all d in the weak tangent to uh, our visible uh, set and from the definition of uh, of polar set we can write that minus f prime of x zero is an element of the dual set of the um, following here we have a, a weak tangent con sorry for that so here we have the following thing and taking into account uh, that about the condition is satisfied uh, here uh, we can write that it is the same as um, in our linearized con uh, at x0, especially uh, being more precise, it is a, a, dual, a dual set. And uh, from uh, some calculations, we are getting that it is the same as saying that it is an element of uh, m of x0, zero, mm, zero. So taking into account the both fact, we are getting that mm, x0 is also a, a, a kkt uh, point. So what other uh, constant uh, constraint qualification conditions uh, gives us a uh, non-emptiness of the set of Lagrange multipliers? Uh, so here you can see um, the definition of Robinson uh, constraint qualification. And uh, the authors uh, in the first paper um, contain the following uh, graph where you can see uh, the connection between um, uh, Robinson condition and, for example, um, apathy condition uh, and some others. For, for example, what is this strong uh, con point property? Uh, they are assuming that uh, Kuratowski point level limit m of x r is uh, included in the set of m x zero. Uh, zero here x goes to x zero and r goes to uh, r goes to zero. So uh, this is uh, only few um, conditions for infinite dimensional uh, settings, and there are not many other uh, for, for this uh, kind of um, problems. And now uh, let me uh, simplify um, our settings. Uh, so we will be considering uh, the case when uh, the both sets are finite uh, dimension. Um, so here, our visible set uh, is defined as follows. Here, instead of uh, arbitrary Banach space, we have a finite dimensional uh, space and we have finite number of um, functions uh, describing our um, visible set. For these settings, we have plenty of uh, constant uh, conditions uh, and let me uh, focus only on three of them. Um, the first one is Mangasarian uh, Fromovitz. Uh, so we are assuming that um, this condition is satisfied at x0 if uh, our gradients are linear independent and there exists some point uh, z satisfying the following uh, two condition, the set uh, of indexes i of x0 is defined, uh, defined here. Another, um, another condition is uh, constant rank. I will be focusing on, uh, especially on this, uh, this uh, condition. So we are saying that constant rank um, holds at point x0 if uh, the following uh, two numbers are the same. So on the left, we are calculating a rank of the um, following uh, metrics where we have uh, the derivatives calculated at point x0. And on the right here, we are switching the argument uh, for uh, to x, uh, where x is um, for some uh, neighborhood of uh, our point x0. Uh, the next condition is uh, relax uh, constant rank um, condition. So it is uh, similar to the, um, uh, to the previous one. Uh, we are assuming that for any index set uh, j, uh, satisfying these two uh, inclusions, Mm, the system of uh, vectors um, has a constant rank. Uh, so here, what is the difference? We are switching the set of indexes uh, in previous, uh, previous definition. So we are now assuming that uh, these two uh, numbers are, um, are the same. Uh, so for finite uh, dimensional setting, uh, for example, we can um, show 
uh, in the second paper uh, the following uh, graph where you can see the connection between the constant rank condition, relaxed constant rank condition, and Abadi. And we can also uh, observe the connection uh, between Mangasarian Fromovitz condition uh, with, uh, with uh, Abadi, um, Abadi condition. So what about uh, our settings? Uh, so uh, it's some kind, a mix of the uh, previous two. Um, so what we are assuming. So in our paper, we are assuming that the domain space uh, space is a Banach, a Banach space. So here we have uh, infinite dimensional uh, settings, but our visible set uh, capital F is described by a finite number of uh, finite number of functions. Uh, so here uh, we are um, considering. Uh, and n function describing uh, capital F. And our main goal now is to uh, connect uh, the relaxed constant rank um, uh, qualification condition with, uh, with Abadi, uh, Abadi conditions. And let me present you the, um, uh, the ideas. Hmm. So now uh, let me recall uh, the constant rank condition because I will be using it in the moment. So these two uh, numbers, these two ranks must, must be the same um, and Mm, we have mm, a kappa number of functions and we are assuming that uh, these uh, two numbers are equal to are equal to k. Uh, so uh, now let me define mm, uh, two sets. Uh, the set uh, E2 is a kernel of df at x0 and the set E1 is closed complement. to E2. And now if we have um, a kappa number uh, of uh, functions, uh, we can say that uh, constant rank condition at point x0 uh, is, the, um, is the same. So, uh, so we have if and only if theorem um, as saying uh, that uh, the following restricted uh, mapping is an isomorphism uh, in some neighborhood of uh, x0, uh, the sets uh, E1 and uh, E2 are defined as follows. So another uh, tool which is important for us is uh, rank theorem. Um, so here, uh, one more time, we are assuming that constant rank condition is satisfied at uh, point x, uh, x0. Uh, our sets uh, e, e2 and e1 uh, um, are defined as uh, previous. And we are getting the existence uh, of uh, two diffeomorphisms uh, of class C1 such that the following um, equation, uh, the following um, condition is, uh, is true. Um, so we will be using uh, um, these two uh, theorems for uh, proving uh, some kind uh, implicit function theorem. Uh, so now Mm, let me uh, introduce you uh, another uh, definition, definition uh, red one. Uh, so uh, we are saying that, that kappa uh, set uh, of functions are functionally, uh, functionally dependent at point x0 if there exist uh, some neighborhoods and uh, function capital F uh, such that uh, this function vanishes uh, on the, this is this some kind manifold. So the first condition and uh, derivative uh, at point y0, uh, where point y0 is defined here, um, uh, is not equal to uh, zero. And we are saying that uh, functions are functionally independent if they are not um, uh, functionally dependent, which means that for all uh, functions, uh, capital F satisfying the first condition, uh, we are getting that derivative uh, must be equal to uh, zero. So now, one more time, let us assume that constant rank uh, condition holds uh, at uh, x0. Let us also assume that E2 and E1 are the same as previous. Mm, and now uh, we are getting to uh, two cases. The first case is when uh, our number k, uh, which is connected with our rank, is equal to number uh, of uh, functions. Then we can say that uh, these functions are functionally independent uh, at point x0. The second case is when uh, our number uh, k taken from the rank is strictly less than k then we are getting some kind of an implicit function theorem. So uh, we can express functions uh, um, with indexes taken from, from this set uh, using um, these which are um, 
functionally independent and some uh, function of uh, function GL, which is uh, of class uh, of class C1. So we will be using uh, this uh, proposition uh, in our uh, main uh, main result. So now let me show you our main theorem. So for, for, for this, I, I need to define another set of indexes. So here we need to define the set I of X0D. We are assuming that E is a Banach space. We have finite number of functions describing our visible set. And now if we assume that relax constant rank condition hold for our visible set, then ABBA D condition is uh, um, satisfied, uh, which means that linearized uh, con uh, is equal to uh, tangent one. Um, and uh, what, uh, what we can say more, if D is an element of our tangent uh, con, then we are getting uh, some function, uh, some vector function uh, R uh, satisfying the following two the following two conditions. So now I want to pr present you uh, the idea of the proof. Uh, so uh, this uh, first inclusion is uh, is obvious, uh, and now we can focus on the second one. So we want to prove that if we are uh, get, taking d from linearized con, then it is also an element of a tangent con. So by our assumption, uh, we are assuming that a relaxed constant rank uh, condition is satisfied uh, at this point for our visible set. We are getting some, mm, mm, some set J uh, such that these two ranks are the same and they are equal to K. So let me present uh, you uh, two cases. So, so the first case is uh, the easy part. So mm, uh, the first case is when uh, our uh, number k is the same as number of elements in the um, set j. Then we can use uh, the Lustednik theorem for the uh, set m defined as follows. And uh, what about this Lustednik theorem? So we are assuming that um, image of derivative is equal to y. And then we are getting that the tangents, tangent set tm to the set m uh, is the same as kernel of uh, our uh, derivative. So we are getting this green um, uh, condition. So calculating derivative for this first um, case, we are getting that uh, our element D is in kernel. And now using Lusternik theorem for the um, set M, we are getting that D must be also an element of tangent set. Um, okay. so. What about uh, second case? So now we are assuming that our number, number k is strictly less than number of elements uh, in the set um, uh, capital J. And now we can use our uh, some kind of implicit function theorem uh, proposition uh, red star. Um, and we can uh, de describe uh, functions uh, H, L here without loss of generality. I can switch the order with, uh, with number uh, of these indexes. So I can describe my function H, L in the, the following, uh, following way. So using our um, functionally independent functions and some uh, function which is uh, of class C1. So one more time, uh, calculating uh, derivative, uh, we are getting that um, our element D uh, is also in uh, the kernel of our um, derivative operator. And using one more time Lusternik theorem, so here you, uh, I just copy paste only the part of Lusternik theorem. So we know that uh, our uh, element D is in this set. So it means that um, our element D must be also in the tangent uh, set which means that uh, Abadi condition uh, is uh, satisfied uh, with uh, our assumption. So we was assuming that relaxed constant uh, rank uh, qualification is satisfied for our visible set capital F. Okay, so what about um, the, the second part? Uh, so I was pr proving um, only the, the first one uh, when we are dealing with uh, equality um, about these two sets. And for the second part, um, we can um, 
use the following uh, technical technical lemma. Uh, so if we have element D from a linearized cone, then um, there exists a vector function R uh, such that for these indexes, we have a strict uh, inequality. And uh, using this, uh, this lemma, uh, we are getting uh, the second part of uh, our uh, main, uh, main theorem. OK, so that's all with uh, uh, our main uh, result. And now some um, corollary. So uh, we, we are getting the non-emptiness of set of Lagrange multipliers. So let me recall uh, our settings. So we are assuming that we want to minimize some function on visible set in a capital F. One more time, E is a Banach space. And here we have a finite number of functions. So if um, relax constant rank condition hold for our set, then we are getting that uh, the set of Lagrange multipliers is a um, non-empty uh, non set. So we are using, uh, of course, our um, Abadi, uh, Abadi condition. OK, so uh, now let me move forward and let me talk a little bit about uh, an extra topic which is uh, included in our paper. So I want to um, describe some connections between some different definitions of functionally dependent functions. So let me recall the first one. So here we have um, k number of functions and we are saying that they are functionally dependent at point x0 if uh, here you can see our previous definition uh, if there exists a function uh, capital F uh, such that F vanishes uh, on this set and derivative is not equal to zero e at point y uh, zero. Another definition is very similar to the first one. Uh, so the first condition is the same, but now we are assuming that function F is not vanishing on the neighborhood of um, y zero. Uh, the third definition is uh, also very similar. The first condition is um, is the same, and the sec second is that uh, the following uh, the following set is nowhere dense in uh, this neighborhood, and the last <laughs> definition is that uh, rank of the following set. Uh, so we have k number of functions, uh, and uh, we are saying that res rank is strictly less than k. So. What can we say about connections uh, between these four uh, definitions? So in our paper, uh, you can find the following, uh, following graph. Uh, so let me maybe underline um, uh, what we have here. So we cannot um, uh, conclude from uh, definition two, definition one. So uh, we have a counter um, example here. Uh, we also cannot conclude uh, definition one from definition three. Uh, the same is with four and one. And here you can see some uh, other uh, connections uh, between the previous, uh, previous four uh, definitions for functionally depending functions. OK, so uh, here you can see uh, some references. So uh, the previous two papers and uh, our um, uh, main uh, paper uh, where you can find our main uh, main results and uh, thank you thank you for your attention <laughs> thank you risto thank you so uh, any question for risto please nice team <laughs> thank you <laughs> Gost Lindstrom, you have a question? Scott? Okay, I have uh, just one minor question. So you are working uh, under the condition that the under the under underlying space is the Banach space? Yes. So so where exactly the completeness of the space? are used in, in, in your result? Uh, in some technical lemma, we are assuming um, the existence of some kind of basis connected with this linear independence. And here we are assuming that uh, reflexivity is uh, not reflexivity, but completeness is important for us. 
Okay. So we are assume in some technical uh, lemmas propositions where we are we want to use um, some basis um, with uh, defined defined by uh, gradients and so on. We are using these settings. Okay. And also Lusternik theorem. Yes, <laughs> it was very hel helpful uh, in uh, the main uh, result uh, because we, we are just defining uh, set M. We are proving that our element uh, D uh, taken uh, from linearized uh, con is uh, also in this kernel. And from the Sternic theorem, we, we just uh, get that uh, it, it needs to be also in uh, tangent. Con. Yes, so it was very important for us. Thank you. So any question? Uh, may I make a small comment? Yes. By the way, <clears throat> related to the question asked by King today, uh, you are using Lusternik theorem, and uh, it, it looks like this is one of the main tools uh, here. Uh, first, uh, a terminological remark. It is uh, very common to refer to this result as Lusternik theorem in Russian literature. In the West, it is more common to say Lusternik Graves theorem. Okay. But my comment uh, is not really a terminological. The thing is, what is now in the modern literature referred to as Lusternik Graves theorem, it is something a bit stronger or maybe essentially stronger than what was formulated by Lusternik and what was at many years ago formulated by Graves. Just people observed that their proof uh, in both cases allows to achieve a stronger result. And now the stronger result, which is equivalent to metric regularity, is referred to as Lusternik Graves. Uh, what is in Lusternik theorem and what you use, as far as I understand, uh, in, in, in developing your results is weaker. And I'm wondering if uh, you don't need the full version of this fundamental theorem, maybe you can also relax uh, some assumptions okay. if you don't need the full power. Yes, very, very interesting. So I will think a, a little bit about your comment. Yes, so it is a very, very nice, a nice comment. Yes, thank you. And this is actually highlighted on this slide in yellow, the reflexivity of the derivative. I'm wondering if you can weaken this assumption. Yes, so, this so, is so just maybe, a then uh, then we will we can use maybe maybe we can use uh, some other uh, condition uh, not uh, relaxed constant rank but uh, some kind of different yes maybe it is a very nice comment. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Yeah, see no question. So thanks again, restart for your.